Oklahoma Bridges here. We're ready for part five, I believe, of the um, West Clocks Big Ben Loud Alarm Style 5A Rebuild. And with the parts clean, we're ready to do a little bit of pre-assembly work here. And that would be putting the alarm mainspring back into the mainspring box and putting the time mainspring back into its um, barrel. This one's going to be the easy one to do. This one's going to be a little bit harder. And I'm going to attempt to do it the way I've done it many times before in the past, and that's not use a mainspring winder and wind the spring back into the barrel by hand. If you have a mainspring winder, it's a billion times easier, especially if you have the square that I made um, to go on the uh, Great Wheel Arbor. But the time side is undoubtedly the easiest, and the first thing to do is to get the spring started on the hook. And to get the first turn in, as you can see, it came unhooked from the hook. And getting the first turn in is the hardest part of the job. Because you've got to get it past the hook like that so it doesn't snag. Then from there on, it's just a matter of winding the spring back into the barrel. I'm just a little out of practice here. You just keep going once you get it started until the center coils will drop into place. Like that. And at this point, we'll oil the spring. Okay, and we'll let that sit for a while because we have a little bit of time to pass before put the mainspring barrel in because of the wonderful modular construction with which these clocks are built. Now for the hard spring. And it's made harder by the fact that I coiled the spring out uh, while cleaning it. And um, I mean it's going to be just that much more difficult to install. And this is another one of those deals where the first coil is the hardest one because you've got to get it past the the tongue end there but once you uh, get it going it's just a matter of going until you have it to where the coils will drop in at the middle there and it will get very difficult at the end as you can see, I'm almost finished, just like that, okay? Once again, oil the spring, let the oil soak into the coils. Back in here, make sure we've got plenty of oil sitting on the coils there. Go ahead and put a drop of oil right there, and a drop right there. And try not to get the oil everywhere. You don't want this to be the dirty spot in your nice clean clock. Okay. So we'll call this, um, 
well, this is part five already, I think. So we'll call the next part part five and a half because this was a really short video. But there are the springs, the um, alarm spring back in its box, the time spring back in its great wheel. And we can go ahead and um, do a little bit of pre-assembly here on this part. Make sure that that's going to go on there correctly. Push that back just a little bit to where the uh, great wheel will go in there like that. And go ahead and put a drop of oil on there. Make sure it works around. And the hook is caught. So that is one alarm assembly all ready to go back into the clock when it's reassembled. So anyway, please join me for the next part and thank you for watching.